Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Corey and Kevin Talk About Nothing. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Corey. I'm Kevin, and welcome to our 70th episode podcast talk show. 70th. Man, that's, I mean, I've I've just pumped. We just keep chugging along. Absolutely. I mean, it's a good time. Very good time. (laughs) It's a very good time, yeah. It's a very good time. Even Jackson's like joining us for the no, 70th episode mm-hmm. special guest always always oh yeah he just he's woke already, up he's like the 70th episode yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm ready, Look ready for this one but, hey yeah he's like all right i'll yeah. i'll watch this <laughs> i'll listen <laughs> in a, yeah he might even chime in who knows probably probably will yeah for sure oh uh-oh. Well, <laughs> yeah well i spoke too early <laughs> that's funny um, so, all right, well, before we get started on this episode, um, just make sure you get the, make sure you get the like and subscribe button. Um, if you want to be not- notified when we drop the new content, if you have any stories, any ideas, anything along those lines, any movie recommendations that you think we should watch. Yes. Throw so recommendations. Always. I'm yeah. just, I'm just saying always throw us recommendations. We would love it. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, so you can email us at CK, talk about nothing at gmail.com, or you can tweet us at Corey Kevin one. Um, you know, just let us know. You know, just we're always down to watch new content. Oh yeah, we're always looking for something interesting to watch. Yeah, I mean, so um, my my so, mind has been blown this entire year. I'm sorry. Oh, just, I know, just, I know. We keep like watching like like other different things. type of things, and it's yeah, yes. it's very expanding, and it's like whoa. And, and, and for and for yeah, well, and for me, speaking you know, of that, huge. okay. Well, okay. yeah, all right, all right. That's like culture shock for you, <laughs> for sure. I mean, it's different. You know, I was a very streamlined kind of guy. All of a sudden, you know, you start throwing these slight curveballs at me, and it's like, whoa, whoa, my brain wait. turned on. Yes, wait <laughs> one minute here, and then everything starts coming together. Wait, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. I, I I feel like I've I've heard that once before from someone that's like, damn it, I I cannot turn my brain off now. Uh, yeah, the, uni- the universe is like expansive right now. It's like, yeah, movies have a way of just opening up a perspective, you know. Well, yeah. Well, and, well, okay. So, like, my thinking whenever when I watch a movie now, I swear to you, I think and see it differently than I've seen it before. Right? Like in my head, I am just like. I feel like I am like I when I watch a movie I'm like thinking about more things, right? Yeah. Before man it was all about, you know, cuz I think I just watch a lot of action. It was just a lot of like action things and action, like the plot is not always there, oh, right? Yeah. Exactly. That was my main thing I always went to. Now all of a sudden you start throwing these other things is now when even when I watch my action or my this, or right, you know, action movies aren't hitting like they used to because <laughs> they better that be plot is like really good mm, action movies, you know? <laughs> exactly, yeah. So, you know, it's a little bit upsetting on there a couple of times. So just gonna say. <laughs> that's why yeah, that's why you gotta, you know you know, Parasite becomes like your new action oh. movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ah, on the edge of your seat. You're like, uh-huh. I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. It's a suspense. I think the suspense is re- re- you know, that, that that thing of it has li- like risen in my quality of movies you know oh oh 100 percent. yeah oh yeah uh but i have a bone to pick with you uh okay and and actually jessica does as well so we're coming off this extremely emotional show the leftovers right okay and i've been told to watch something else we're talking about mind-blowing and expansive and and new content and all this stuff and you recommended this show, Alice in Borderland, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so we wa- we slammed through three episodes last night, and we had to shut it off because we're like, this show is slamming good. Okay. That show, okay, it is also <laughs> very sadistic and violent. Yes. yes. Holy but that's what, that's what adds to it, dude. That's what adds to it. Um, I'm not happy with what had happened at the end of the third episode. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Not happy at all. Told you. The third one is going to get you. Not happy at all. <laughs> I was like, I, that is not how I yeah. thought it, like, does it have to be that way? Yeah. And, then I'm like, <laughs> and then the episode ends. We're like, oh, okay. Yeah. That sucks. That sucks. I would have been screaming 
Just just like him. Just like the main character. Ep- I'm telling you, it's insane. So what's your bone then? Let me know. What, what, what's the problem with it? Then? Because I didn't want to get so heavily invested in the TV oh. show again. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's you know, show like, one, like we're I mean, thinking like, oh, yeah, you know, like a casual viewing type of show. And then it's like, no. no. Now we're what? Now they're they're playing these games and, and our brains are ticking. We're like, oh, <laughs> well, what could it be? How, how do they do this? How do they escape? Like, it's. Uh-huh. What do you think this is? I mean, like, no, no, <laughs> my brain didn't Sorry. need it. Yeah, I'm like, but, it's a fair. It does. Tra- it's a fair trade off, though. I, I, I feel like the yes. leftovers is like an emotionally draining, hundred percent drama I mean, piece. Uh, and I haven't got you know. So, so just break the, the thing. I've started leftovers. So, I mean, thank mm-hmm. you to you. You've done the same thing. So, you know. So, vice versa. <laughs> my, yours is a lot longer than mine. So here's my bone, you know, to pick with you, sir. I'm just kidding. Um, leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Before we get into the leftovers, though, I really want to know, like, so your honest opinion is you do love like the like the structure and the whole thing with. Oh, Austin it's Waterloo. it is actually crazy how hooked, how like streamlined they have. Like, I mean, you immediately. Love the characters. That's yes. why. <laughs> Again, I am not happy <laughs> about that. Uh, end of the third episode. It was like the freaking red wedding for me, man. I'm like, no, like, what are you Insane. doing? But I, yeah. I, I'll tell you the the episode of Tag was just whoever is writing and and. Uh, directing this show do a horror movie because oh oh my god you would knock it out of the park because this show is frightening it's so it's so good it's so good uh i i love the characters um and right it's like right off the the rip you know you love the characters and then like you're let's go right into it and then they're like when it, the first challenge, I'm like, ah! yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know, <laughs> the seconds are counting down. I'm like screaming at the TV, run! Yeah, you know, yes, yeah. the door. Pick one, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But when he's like drawing it out, I'm like that. I'm like parents who bash kids for playing games too much. I'm like, listen, mm-hmm. there could be. I mean, this scenario is a little far fetched of happening. Very, I get yes. that, but yeah. I'm saying, like, kids nowadays, their hand-eye coordination is incredible. Like, oh, sh- 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 sh. oh yeah. you know, build Minecraft stuff like it's, it's nothing. Crazy. You know, if me, yes. I'd be like. Eh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're, like, masters of this whole new hand-eye coordination and skill and yeah. and thought process and all this other stuff. It's like games do teach you stuff. It's just like, okay. Maybe all right. So Call of Duty, Battlefield Six, or Battlefield yeah. Five. Uh, whoops. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. They, you know, that's a lot of hand-eye coordination right there, too, right? You know, yeah. I mean, you're you're literally watching while your hands are moving and doing the action. So it's like a, a really useful skill when you think about it. And a lot of these other games only enhance that as well. Yes. Getting back to Alice in Borderland, yeah. it's like perfect <laughs> yeah. because this guy is like, wait a minute, okay, you're yep. right. Like, if I could just figure these things out, maybe we could get ahead. I'll tell you what, when that guy was like, I'm done, I'm through. It doesn't matter how many levels you clear, and I'm like, what do you, what do you mean, yeah. man? Like, yes. you're just yeah. in a perpetual what? state of like <laughs> playing these horrific games when they played that tag because. They needed to find a doctor or just, like, they didn't need to play the game, but they went to go, like, it, what a horrible it. game. Oh, yes. dude. Oh, yes. my God. It was it's awesome. It's, I was it gets, so. Yeah. It's crazy. I was so crazy. blown away. I was like, gosh, why? Sorry, but not sorry. Right. Because it's an excellent show. And I'm like, Jessica like, was like, why are why are people not talking about this? I'm like, well, we will be. I'm yeah, like, exactly. Like, yes. yes. We it's will happening. hopefully get the attention of the people because this show is yeah, worth it's watching, good. man. It's exactly. A, I'm telling you, it's, it's, yeah, it's really good. It's, Alice in Borderland. Alice in Borderland. Alice in Borderland. There's uh, eight episodes. Yes. So that's a nice part, too. It's a short thing. Um, that's not you know. nice. I, is there more coming out? I, well, <laughs> well, well, actually, I don't want to know. 
I don't want to know anything. Gotcha. Well, yes. We'll talk about it when you're done. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, just like leftovers, you know? Like, what, is, yeah. what have you seen, man? So, what I've seen so far. So, I, I've watched. So, I finished episode five. Just like I said, I was going to. Yeah. Um, you know, so, and I... It, the, the, the first episode, um, you know, so what I've saw so far is, you know, obviously I haven't, I'm still, my see, there's a lot of questions I have and I don't want to ruin anything. But oh like, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. But like, so some of the questions I, that I, that I've that I have, I'm still, and then I think this last episode actually made my, answered my questions, but then at the same time, like it's still a lingering thing in my head to process it still. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't finish the season, right? That if once I think once I finish the season, some, oh, of, my, yeah. some yeah, of my yeah. thoughts will like, you know, go from there. But um which I I will easily have done before next podcast. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh right. and then uh but so so like you know so I've seen, you know, the the you know the 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 one scene that really somebody was tied to a tree um Oof. and yes, that was a rough one, man. Uh Oof. Yes, that was rough. So like that really kind of not not obviously did not like make me want to sit there necessarily like like that drew me in that scene but like it's those emotional parts mm-hmm. that's getting me to it I don't want to ruin anything so I don't like don't want to say it's like that's why I'm trying not to like I'm beating around, I'm beating around the damn bush you know um so uh, but, but that it being ended said, in but, 2017 um, oh the season three did mm-hmm. I thought I thought I thought the new season just came out. I must have been wrong about that. So I thought the new season, like, not like just ended, but like 2020, I thought it came. I, I thought it was out. No, man. Okay, never mind. That was a new thing. Thought it's not. It yeah, it's just new to us. It's just, Got it. uh, it's just coming around. So we now. were the idiots. We're the idiots late that to the party. Watch. Got it. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I get it. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So, you know, when the lady's tied to a tree, she gets stoned. It really messed with me, dude. No, dude, it's you, a I'm like, graphic. Like, like scene. the fact that they're like they like show that it's just it's, it's just like a really graphic scene and then like man oh yeah, yeah. it's it yeah it's like a powerful scene I forget her name it is. but oof yeah it was it was not yeah but so and then um, guilty the remnant scene, man absolutely yes hundred percent you know and then GR. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's some of it, like, so, you know, you, you start to feel these loves for these characters and these things, and you start learning of, like, what happened on the 14th, um, you know, um, of, like, just certain things. And so the preacher, okay? So when you when his, when his episode's on to where he's trying to get back his church, okay? And then he gets hit in the head with something as somebody driving by. And then he thinks it's still the same day, but it was three days ago or whatever it was, right? The, 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 what I seen in him in like the entire thing actually like blew my mind to a certain degree, right? Like, you know what I mean? That with that whole thing of him, like, he just did what he had to do and believed in what he believed in to go and find and do what he needed to do, right? Like, right, I'm like, right, oh right. my gosh, he just had that feeling, that one thing that right. happened, and you know, like it's just kind of like some sometimes, like so, I, like that's part of that love I think that you have in these characters. You know what I mean? Because you actually see who he really is. You see his wife. You see what happened to him on the 14th, like which <laughs> it's He's not a typical preacher either. Well, no, not by any means. Which is kind of it's 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 like. It's cool, and it's you know what I mean. Like it's like it has like a both it has both features to it. You know what I mean? It mm-hmm. Really does. And he goes home and takes care of his wife that got in the car accident on the fourteenth, right? So like that whole thing that happens, you learn this love for this guy that he's you know like just kind of crazy, man. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, no, I I I, you know. I loved every single character, yeah. and uh, uh, the the there's I, I'll we'll get to it when you're done. Yeah. There's only one character in the entire show that we just kind of had a problem with, and we just couldn't put maybe a pin in it. But uh, Kevin I- Garvey is just one of the coolest characters. I was, uh, you know, I, he's just like so cool, man. Yeah, so uh, so. Crazy. I mean, not cool. Not cool. You know, he's not like yeah. you know a role model. I'm, no. I'm just saying, like the character himself, though. Like, I I want to read the book. 
Because yeah, it, absolutely. It's, it's such an incredible... So, so is, he, is he the main character in the book, too? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Gotcha. All I know is uh, the book is season one. Okay, so I'm assuming then probably then. Because, I mean, probably. You know, I mean I'm, I'm assuming. So, okay. Um, uh, man, what was I going to say? I forgot. Oh, the one part that makes me laugh that, you know, this whole thing is, is the guy that hugs it out of you. That makes me laugh so hard. I had not seen the end of him yet. I don't know why. Just the thought process of that he is sold. And maybe he maybe it works. I'm not saying it doesn't, right? But his whole thought process is that he will hug the stress and the stuff away from you, right? That's what mm-hmm. it is. And then the, he has this huge following of people that believe him, you know? It's just kind of it's kind of insane. That and I'm like, man, this guy has done, you know, the 14th has changed people's minds, you know? I mean, but if you 14th, think about it, you never yes. you never know what's going to happen. Like if that happened to us right now, you know what I mean? You don't know how your mind would act in 2 years, you know what I mean? You, you you'd be all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, Yeah, the the entire stability of of what if it happens again? Well, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So oh, that's the, you, you don't know. You just don't know. Exactly. I mean, it's insane. It's kind of crazy. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's kind of wild. It's great yeah, though. I I, so. I really love it because it it plays in like this sandbox of a, a very similar reality of what we live. Uh huh. A hundred percent. So like a, an event happening in this show is very personal. It feels like oh man, like. Well, you could exactly put it a what if, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, like yeah. They did a very good job by making these characters, like, personable, right? Like, mm-hmm. personally, like, like you like you feel for this person, right? Sometimes, like, in a movie, they're so force-fed that you don't get that same feeling. Correct, you know, right, s- right. Some right. things, right? So this thing, I mean, you spend time, like, like with that, like that Preacher's episode, with um, um, the, the I, I, well, I can't remember his name in the show now. Um, is it Matthew? N- well, no, no, no. The 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 chief of police, Kevin Garvey. That's his name in the show. Kevin Garvey. Okay, so Kevin Garvey. His name's Kevin Garvey in the show. I thought that was his real name. I didn't look to be honest with you. In the in the the police Leftovers. chief, the main the main police chief. Huh. Was, uh, the father, like the father, the the, the the guy that you watch all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's Kevin. I don't know why my brain. Okay, anyways. I thought that was his real name. I just his, always called His real just, name so is Justin Theru or Theroux. Yeah, Justin that's Theroux. right. You said that last time. Now I remember. Okay, 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 okay. But uh pretty much I'd be I would honestly if I ever met the guy, I'd be like, What's up, Kevin? Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. up, dude? Yeah. I've got some questions. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yes. So like so, you know, he's actually part of my, you know, back to I'm just throwing another curveball, but like back to like my questions. Some of it I'm still questioning with with him and his thing too, right? So like, so the one character that as of right now, and I feel her and understand her pain. I'm not saying that, but I'm, this is just my f- forecast of what I kind of annoyed with a little bit is is the daughter of Kevin's daughter. I just don't know what it is about her yet. I can't. I can't. That's the one character that I cannot figure out, and I'm just kind of like, I understand her pain, but I don't understand her pain towards. Kevin as much. I understand he does. You know what I mean. And maybe I don't see it yet. Maybe I'm not like thinking about that whole thing yet. Maybe, maybe I, don't, I don't. I understand it a little bit. I'm not saying that. I mean, being the chief's daughter and all that kind of stuff. There's like different ways that you can like think about it. But just like her constant negativity towards everything that he does, it kind of like it just kind of like man, when's this ever going? Even the scene. I just watched the scene like the, the end of season five. I mean, end of episode five. I'm, I don't care that something happens and the mom and dad or not. You know what I mean. So separated, right? And he tells mm-hmm. her that. And then he says that, I love you. She goes, well, I love you too. Instead of like anything else happening, she just leaves the room crying. I'm like, mm-hmm. I just just, I just don't get that. I just, I don't, I don't, anyways. But I'm sorry. I just hate, I just hate negative people like that all the time. So I just think it, like every time I see her, just negativity. Every time uh, I see her, just so negative, right? <laughs> I, just, I, I, just, I, I just felt like, I don't know. I feel like that's like a, 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 a realistic portrayal of, this teen angst uh, of a family who is separated. Think about it. None of them disappeared. Yeah, that's true. But yet. Somebody still did. Huh? Well, not not really, but there's. Uh, I, I see what you're Okay. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, departed, you know. Yes. The heroes. But yeah. anyways. 
if we keep talking, I will spoil something, and I don't gotcha. okay. want to do Sorry. that. So, but that's, this, this is where my head goes. All There's of a sudden, so I start much thinking. that happens in three seasons. It is it is crazy. So, but I I really liked her character just because like I'm not saying she, she I, actually I, plays the character well. Obviously, yeah, she's doing, right. Doing I, it justice. It's, it's but, just but. like I, I I couldn't fathom you know uh, going through that and and then seeing all this everything crumbling around you and and maybe yeah. she's just a scared little girl who wants her family that's true and w- which like, like i said i understand i personally i have personal understanding of that personally for that too doesn't sound like it i'm just i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but anyways <laughs> great yeah <laughs> great show keep on yeah, going sure. yeah. we're we're definitely watching uh Maybe tomorrow night we'll we'll throw on another episode or two of Alice no. in Borderland. I I was like thinking in my head for some reason that it was going to be like one of the ha- like a half hour show, but, and then I was like, oh, oh, 50 minutes, oh, cool. Yeah. And then like they were going by so fast, I was like, oh no. Well, that's what happened. I mean, I literally oh, I knocked no. that show out so quick. See, and just so you know, so like you know. I definitely recommend it to you heavily after I've watched it. But the person who brought it to me, you know, we got to throw back credit to this guy, is Sean. I mean, Sean's had some great recommendations. Yeah, Sean, so. he got some great recommendations, yeah. man. I'll so, tell you. I, yeah. Impressive, bro. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see what's next. I also have great recommendations, and he doesn't always watch mine. But, eh, you yeah. know, no big deal. <laughs> uh, no big deal. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That's funny. Uh, we did actually watch. Did you Did you watch Captain Fantastic? Oh, I did. I did. Oh, I did. very cool. Yes. Very cool. Yeah, uh, yeah we, we actually didn't con- confirm before um, nope. the, uh, the, the, before we actually started recording. So, yeah. Uh, didn't confirm, but yes. <laughs> uh, so we watched a movie this week, and and right now it's available on Netflix. I don't know how mm. long it'll be on there for, but uh, um, yeah, Captain Fantastic uh, with uh, so the the main kid Bo. Yeah. Uh, did you you watch nineteen seventeen? Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, I, I, I it, you know what's funny? It actually took me actually a second. I actually had to look it up to verify. And it's, is that? <laughs> yeah, and as soon as it hit, I'm like, okay, no, here we go. You know, <laughs> I, I like this a little bit more. You know, so. Yeah. But. Yeah. yeah so, what, uh, so what was your thoughts on Vigo? It, yeah. Uh, you know, old Aragorn. Yes. Ex- yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, the, uh, dude, he's. He is such a good actor. Impressive. Yeah. yeah. Very, very impressive. All right. So this movie was wild. Uh, and I, I looked up a few things uh, on it, but uh, we, we, we can talk about that at, at the end if uh, if you have some like trivia on it. Um, okay. But, uh, man, what an interesting flick. It it definitely I, – I, I loved it. It was, it was really good. Yeah. Um, but it messed with me uh, to it's it's like you you need this healthy balance. Yeah, you can't go all all woodsy because you're no. never gonna. I mean, unfortunately, there is a real world out there. It, yes, and but you and, will and, have to live it in at least some, yeah, like, some sort. Yeah, it's there. Like yeah. it, I'm, now you can. And so in my head, I'm thinking like, well. Teaching these kids all this stuff, that's genius, that's awesome. They can fend for themselves, they can fight for themselves, they can do everything for themselves, and they're top notch students and, and all that stuff. Yeah. But having that having that other mix of the real world would really also pay off. So it's like he needed to form this more well, which I think like at the end it that that is the more Half and half, you know, you're on a farm rather than yes, exactly, hundred yeah, percent yeah. out there. But uh, it, it's like, oh, oh, so, so my my sorry, my point was like, in addition to that training, instead of like mocking society, why not teach them to be world leaders to change society? Uh, you know, instill the, the things that you've instilled them so that people would respect nature more or you know oh, like yeah, do yeah, things yeah. 
differently because we live in excess and, and all that stuff. Like, that's where, like, I'm like, man, you know, you got to take a look at your own life. And be like, man, these guys are living so basic out there, but they're, they're reading, they're, they're, they're training, they're yeah. doing all these cool things. But then I'm like, <laughs> my life... I'm sure if I get mugged, I would love those t- those skills, you yes. know, or or yes. something like that. But but I don't often have to go hunt for my food. But the, it, like I said, a healthy dose of both because man, yes. I would love those skills, that training, man. Well, hundred percent. So that's yeah. that's the hard part. I mean, it's 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 you know, the, I I enjoyed it at the very beginning, right? And you don't think about some facts, you know. The facts are brought up in the movie. You're like, oh well. Oh, yeah, that's man. True. That's true. <laughs> oh, that's true. You know, you're like, oh, okay. Well, now I get it. You yeah, know? I bet, I mean, so, you feel like, oh, okay, am I the piece of crap or exactly. are you? Like, yes. I don't know, yes. man. I but I'm thinking idea. I might be the yeah. piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that. Funny. Yeah, I, it was. It was really good. I mean, I thought the acting was was fantastic too. Uh, I was surprised to see it was rated R, um, um, but then there's a there's yes. a few there's things. a scene, <laughs> yes. So yeah, Vigo just bearing yep. it all for you. Yeah. So it's just so the it's, penis. It's it's pretty funny. So you got actually, one. Was, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, y'all got. Yep, you yeah. got one. Yep, it's just the penis. Uh, uh, I looked it up, and he's actually he's like known for doing that like quite often. Actually, he's just that's like that's like one thing that he's like kind of known for a little bit. You know, it's the second time he's been nominated for best actor in a movie that he shows full frontal. So it's like that's the only hilarious. time he gets nominated yeah. is if he shows. <laughs> See, you know, every every movie now he's had one scene of him just standing there. So this movie was PG-13, but we're going to show me yeah. so I can get that best actor nom. For sure. Sorry. And everybody can look at it as well, all right? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. That so, funny. so funny. Not, yeah, not during dinner. Not when we eat. Yeah, not <laughs> you know? when you eat. Yeah, yeah, not when we eat. Put your clothes uh, on. There, there were, yeah, you know, there were a lot of times that it, it, was, a, it was a pretty did a great job of being a comedy and a drama. You know, it was definitely oh, absolutely, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely some comedic moments. But uh, when it when it hit, it hit. Um, especially like you know, uh, kid running off to the grandfather's, uh, or even like grandfather not respecting the wishes of his daughter just because. Well, I know. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. like that. Like that enraged me. I was like that. I would make ghosts real because I would come back and haunt you if you disrespected my wishes. Just kidding. If I could absorb energy and, and, and create that torch sort of thing, that then yes, I will. Yes. But I don't know if I can yet. I have to die. You have to die, yeah. I have Oof. to die. And I'm not, I'm not ready to do that. Yeah, not ready yet. No. So, uh, but this, this, and that's another thing, like, is it pretty irresponsible to have no hospital, no med center anywhere near, and you guys are doing these rock climbings, you guys are doing these... I mean, ter- yes. Crazy things, yeah. man. Um, it's all about the training, bro. And yeah, <laughs> there's nobody who's just gonna magically show up, and it's like, well, bro, I get that. Um, but also, like, you're right. There is nobody who's just gonna yes. magically show up. Like, <laughs> that's very true. That is very true. Yeah, that for, for the majority, I, I really liked his viewpoint. But it's like, yeah, like. Okay, maybe I'm extreme, you know. Maybe it's maybe it is a bit extreme. Yes. I uh, and spoilers for this movie to be honest. I know I, I know it came out maybe t- what 2014, 2016. I think it was 2017. 2017. Okay. So 2017 um, 2016, I can't remember, but I think it's 2017. So the the end I was I felt like I was like slightly confused because he has a very purposeful sigh right before the end of the movie. And he's just staring off and sighs. And I don't think it was a happy sigh. I think it was a compromised sigh. And I still think he wants to be out in those woods and doing all that stuff. And yes. I'm like, man, I'm like, why'd you have to end like that? <laughs> he's, yeah, he's still not like this happiness, though, you know? Yeah. There's still not that, you know? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, th- th- I really, I mean, because, <sighs> I don't know, man. 
I have a hard. I have a both. I'm both sides on that aspect of things. It was 2016 too for that movie. Just so you oh, know. Oh right, right, nice, okay. nice. Um, so uh, yeah, I I I enjoyed it. I'm not. I, it was a good movie. I'm not saying that he did fen- fen- phenomenal in the movie. I think he did great. Um, but like you said, uh, there was y- y- you have to. And, and, and it's cool, like, to see how he made it understood. You know what I mean? And I think that saved that whole aspect of everything. But at the same time, though, it's one of those movies at the very beginning. I was kind of like, well, you know, like, this is this is kind of wild. This is kind of, 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 yeah. a, of a wild scenario, you know? And Yeah, and, and one of the biggest questions I had is, like, well, well your ultimate end goal, right? So everything's happy, hunky-dory, but... Your oldest beau clearly wants to bone. Oh, see oh. what I did there? Anyways, oh, um, <laughs> and what are you going to do about that? Like, are you going to basically say, kids, you can't procreate? Or are you going yeah. to instill something disgusting? Because you're, aren't you going to want to, ha- you know, have yeah. your your children have mates and children of their own and that kind of stuff so yes. it's like what is your ultimate end goal you cannot keep them here forever uh so like when he got all mad at at Bo for having all those which is freaking awesome like having all those acceptance uh yes. you know, it's crazy it's like, wow it's pretty impressive <laughs> yes yeah wow <laughs> like yeah, yeah no that impressive is is that that's underplaying it all right um but it's like well like you had to expect, all right, so maybe not college, but you had to assume at some point he was going to want to go experience something for himself. You can't, I mean, these kids are regurgitating what you're teaching them. Yeah, they're reading stuff, but they're get, basing their opinions off of your opinions. So it's like you want your kids to grow up and have their own thoughts and stuff like that. So, like, that's yeah. that's my whole process. I loved the idea of it, and I think that's such a really good idea because these kids are – like, that doctor was like, okay, well, this kid is, like, abnormally strong uh, for her age. Yes. You know, like, yes. when she fell off the, the roof or whatever. But it's like – and that's cool. That wasn't a cool scene. That's like, bro, yes. that's being a bad dad. That's a yes. bad mission, bro. Bad. Actually, multiple bad missions. Yes. Uh, I mean, the the one grocery store, that. bad mission, bro. Yeah. If, and at first, because once again, I mean, he set me up just like he set all the clerks, clerks up. I'm thinking something really bad's happening. And yeah. then all of a sudden you start putting, you're like, wait a minute here. Yeah, they're, they're like he's, stuff. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Come on, man. The you mission. Know? Yeah. Yes. But so, I, I mean, I, I did really, I did, you know, uh, I don't know. He played a fantastic, guy. I mean, acting job. So yeah, and I, I really like the, the touches of, um, like mental illness. Oh and, yeah, yes. And how like it's it's not always the the product of environment. Sometimes it's just somebody's mind. Somebody's. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way he puts it in the beginning is perfect. Her brain doesn't have enough receptors to create enough ser- uh, serotonin or something like that. Yes, so absolutely. Yeah, she can't experience happiness right now or something like that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So yeah, but it, but it, you know, her moving out there was supposed to fix that, but it didn't. And it's like that's not always the fix. And mental illness is real and needs not to be toyed with and experimented with. It needs to be you know treated. I mean, not, yeah. not experimented with because obviously you want to advance your levels of how you handle things like that. Yes. But, well, yes. But yeah. It, so it, 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 I like the way it touched on that. Cause it's like, man, yeah. It, shame on you. Cause you, you didn't take more, take it more serious until it was like really too far. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. like another is like, Oh God, you know, <laughs> yes. exactly. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. I respect the way he tells his kids the truth about everything, though. I respect that, that, that. dude. That, that's exactly what I was just gonna. I was just gonna say, yeah. like, it, it was one of those shocking things. I mean, when the little young one asks, you know, you know <laughs> yeah. what, what 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 it is, and and I, I mean, he's just like, why Ew. would they want to do that? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it was so funny, you know. And yeah. just, and they, he just and the response is just, this is what it is. I mean, why you know, lie, know, right? But, that's true. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and like. Yeah, it, like, gives you some panic because you're like, wow, you know, oh, then I'm going to have to explain all these things. It's like, well, 
yeah, why wouldn't I be explaining these things? These are like real no. world things, right? So absolutely, I was like, when it was that, excuse me, that dinner scene, and she's like, we don't talk like that in front of the kids, and it's like, I mean, those those kids were older too. Yes, they're not. Yeah, it's like, what are you hiding from them? Like, no, mental illness is real, and people should know about that. Like, they weren't just sick and they died. Like, that's not an appropriate no thing to say. Like, that's. Yeah. At least, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I understand, like, you know, I, to me, that's not a conversation you have at the dinner table. You know yeah. What I'm <laughs> yeah. So, like, that's my one pro- Yes, that. exactly. So don't do it there. But at the same time, you know, but if it gets asked there, I mean, when, you know what I mean? Like, what's the difference, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, if you, you know what I mean? But I, I just, I wouldn't have personally had the conversation at the dinner table. But, you know, but I would have told him before. Right, right. Well, hey, can we him, discuss you know? this afterwards or we could go into gory details? Exactly. But not at dinner. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Oh, we're dinner. trying to have dinner. Yeah, trying to eat my couscous. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And my bloody steak, you know, my bloody steak. <laughs> yes. So, um, so this movie was re- recommended to me by a coworker. Oh, Eric gotcha. I was actually going to ask you. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Uh, I I appreciate it. I it's it's been on my list, but you know. Uh, he recommended it, and he had said that you know even a week later he was still thinking about this movie, and he's like that that's when I know it's a really good one. I gotta tell you about it. I'm like no, absolutely, yeah. So boosted up my list, and then our friend Brian, he had listened to our podcast and heard that we you know I wanted to watch this movie, and he had texted me on the side and said that was a great movie. So I'm like all right, let's just do this. Let's yeah yeah watch it's this on, movie. It's a, yeah for sure. I tell you man, it, it's it's a wild ride of like emotions because like you, you're right like. What is the right way? And and there is no right way, so you have to blend it, you know? Yeah, for but sure. But there's got to be a respect to nature. I love when those kids, like, go outside with their sleeping bags. They're like, well, I made up the rec room. They're like, oh, no, we're good underneath the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. yeah. I'm good. Those kids are really cool. He locked actually. the door at night, and you guys are going to yeah. sleep on the front lawn. <laughs> It's so funny. If you really do think about it, that, that that's the very true. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's it's very, like very wild to think about. Yeah, I'm like, what do you do with a bear, though? Yeah, seriously though. Like, I mean, like seriously. Yeah, so like at a certain part, you're like, you're, oh, this is a great idea. I really like. It. But then you're like, ultimately, this is extremely irresponsible. Yes, you're the yeah. only adult in charge of all these kids who are rock climbing, taking down wild animals. I'm like. There's a lot that could go wrong. Yes, I'm surprised things haven't escalated already. Yeah, I mean, but it's only, but it's still new though, right? You know, yeah, that's true. It's uh, like what, like ten years or whatever, because uh, Bo they started with Bo. They started when Bo was like three or something like that. Are you sure? I, after, thought, I thought that yeah, it was after they moved out there after Bo was born. Hmm. Okay. I thought they had. I thought they had. I thought the girls were born too, but maybe I'm wrong though. You're wrong. They moved out there after Bo. Well, but if it, was, if it was only ten years, though. I mean, the 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 least. No, the I I, I know. Years, I'm I'm just trying to think. It was like I think it was like three years after uh, Bo. Bo was born. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I mean, maybe I I I don't I don't remember the exact quote, so I can't I can not gonna argue with you about it, but we'll settle this off air. No, I'm just we will. <laughs> Reminds me of our old days of. Uh, you know, uh, trivia uh, questions asking the oh. asking the tough questions, being like, "You better, are you sure about that answer?" We'll talk about it. You sure about that? Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about this later. <laughs> yeah, contested, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I I would definitely say, if you are a member of the Netflix community, uh, search up Captain Fantastic. Now, Jessica had mentioned at the end of the movie, she's like, you know, to be honest. Uh, since I knew nothing about the movie going in, I thought it was going to be some sort of superhero movie. <laughs> and I laughed. Mm-hmm. I was like, I would want, I had wondered, I was like, you know, sometimes it's funny to think of a different perspective of how, you know, Captain Fantastic and you have no idea what this movie is yeah, no, Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, when, when you first talked about it, I, I had no idea about it. Ah, another a superhero movie that I've yeah. never heard of before. I am like, I'm like, that's weird. You know, what kind of off-brand superhero is this movie going to be? You know what I mean? Like, what the hell's going on here? Right, well, right. Found it, found it, and uh, happy to report it was awesome. It was great. Yeah, for sure. I was surprised it was rated R, but you know what? It was totally needed because 
it totally showed this the 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 distance of how his children are raised and and the other uh, children. Are raised. Are now I I really loved the um the correlation. So they obviously you know they they killed the deer. They hunt you know. They're, they have no problem with that. But watching the video game with that gratuitous violence was too much for them, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Flip yeah. it. Those kids are used to that gratuitous violence, but put them in a hunting position, and I bet you they wouldn't pull the trigger. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like a really cool... Uh, um, oh, 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 I know the word. Um, juxtaposition. <laughs> I never heard that word before. Juxtaposition. All right, I just used big boy word. Oh, but yeah, it was really, it was really cool. I, I was like, that's really cool. They also, um, in the beginning, because they're all, re- it's reading hour and they're reading their books. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, are you gonna look the word up? Yeah, J U X juxtaposition. Oh. Anyways, it um, came up. Just so you know. Yeah, I know it's a real word. It's the yeah. it's the difference. So uh, you know, if, like you have these people that are used to gratuitous violence but can't hunt, and then you have these people that are hunters that can't watch the gratuitous violence. It's kind of yes. like a juxtaposition. For sure, that, that's that's impressive. I'm, I'm impressed with that word. Thank you. So I, that's why I had to look it up. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, this is bullshit. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's not a word. Yeah, exactly, one hundred percent. That's how I play. I can I see I you. I'm like, I can too. see. You. I'm like, this, this guy doesn't believe me. <laughs> yeah. man, that's cool. That's cool. Man. I just want to see. You know, <laughs> I, I gotta. You know, uh, that's that's really funny. Um, what what uh what what percentage on the Rotten Tomatoes did this one get? Um, it got uh actually it was eighty two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. They killed it. Look yeah. That. Um, a seven point nine on IMDb. And then Google's uh, people killed it, and it was at... Yeah, what, a 90, 93%. Yeah, uh, huge. Uh, all right, so two things that I wanted to point out that I thought was very funny. Okay. Catherine Hahn, uh, she's like the, the mother of the two boys at the dinner table. She's in oh, a yes. lot of comedies. Oh, yes, 100%. She's usually very funny, but this was a, a serious role yeah. for her. Well... Her husband is the his the actor's name is Steve Zahn. Um, we who is in a ton of uh, comedies as well, but their names are spelled exactly the same except for the first letter. So Catherine Hahn is H A H N, and his name is Zahn Z A H N. Oh, that's, that's so funny, funny, you know? That's awesome. That's <laughs> and they're funny. playing a, a married couple. I just thought that was funny. I hope I hope anybody else gets some humor out of that. Um, yeah. But also. It's Catherine Hahn's second movie that a family sings a rendition of Sweet Child of Mine. Because in the Wait, first what's, one, what's the other one? What's it, what is it? Step Brothers. Yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I knew it. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> in the car. In yeah, the car. yeah. That's, I knew so it good. too. When I when I had read that, I was like, "That is so funny! That is too funny! I love that scene." <laughs> that, that's a good one. Um, but yeah, Vigo Mortensen, man, dude's got some great acting chops. And absolutely. Uh, so, so yeah. the one thing about um, oh oh, never mind. It's, it's okay. Have you seen Fallen? Mm, Fallen. I don't. Think so. It's 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 his movie. It's another movie that he wrote. Um. Which is actually, I mean, it looks pretty good. Vigo? I think it's kind of a yeah. So I think it's kind of a, I think it's kind of another movie. Um, uh, let me see here. I had it pulled up, but I looked up your word, so it got ruined. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oh, Eastern Promises, dude. Great movie. A History of Violence. Woof. Great movie. Have you ever watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Oh, fantastic. Uh, no, I haven't actually. Speaking of fantastic, he's in Captain Fantastic. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, falling. All right, it's called falling. Well, see, but, yeah, but see, I don't, th- I don't think it's the falling though. No, it's called falling, or faulting, Fa- falling. 
I think it's just called Falling Movie, right? I mean, it's just, it's just called falling. falling, bro. It's just called Falling. Yeah, 67% on Rotten Tomatoes. It, yeah, it was directed by him. Yeah, okay, that's Never what I thought. Okay, okay. So, but it looked pretty good, though. Laura um, Linney's but, in it. Talk about some yeah. Ozark. Yeah, we could do that. You know who else is in Ozark? Jason Bateman, the crab man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. Thunder Force is back in action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Did you go back and watch the scene where he crab walked at all? No, not, no. No, not okay. That's, right. that's funny, though. I guarantee if you go to YouTube, you just say Jason oh, Bateman crab sure. walking. It'll probably be on there. Uh, Speaking of Vigo movies, though, have you ever watched the movie The Road? No, I actually have not, no. Holy crap. That is a depressing movie. Depressing? Really? Depressing, yeah. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure I was hearing the word right. Yeah, definitely definitely pretty depressing. I'm like, that's a one-time watch. You know? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I don't want to keep... Yeah, I don't want want to cry every single time. Yeah, I'm like, that that didn't make me feel so good inside, you know? Like that's a uh, Alpha Dog. Oh that yeah, one. yeah. That yeah. movie it was a good movie. I yes. I'm not I'm not saying that at all, but it made good me JT. so mad. Yeah. <laughs> at the end, I I will not watch it again because it yep. made me so mad. I just I, I, had to return the kid, you idiot. You exactly. Just had to return yes. the kid, yep. you idiot. And that, and you did something very stupid. Exactly. Yeah. You it's are based right. on a true story. No. Yeah. So they had yeah 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 had to dumbasses. Uh, but yeah, Vigo, Vigo, dude, yeah. hit me up, Vigo, you're a it's baller. Sure. Yeah, baller, yeah, so, um, uh, so it's, it's funny, so, like, th- watching this movie, like, seeing this movie, and then, you know, of course, I do my little bit of research on him as well, you know, mm-hmm. um, so, like, looking into it, he actually has a, a quote that he told somebody, um, and he's, and that he says, Hold on, let me let me get this pulled up right here. Yeah, he I would says, like to hear the quote verbatim, please. Well, exact. So yes, so it's actually, um, uh, so he he's so talking about with this whole living in the woods thing, right? This whole thing, and he goes, yeah, he goes, well, as a baby, I crawled out of the crib twice, and they had to look for me. They found me in the wood with the dog. So he was in the woods, just hanging out the dog as a baby. He crawled out, took the dog, him and the baby out, out there. I'm like, that is that's just hilarious. I mean, that that's is awesome. That's, so well, then, so then, but then the second time, I think it was the second time. It says, uh, uh, no, the first time. Sorry, it was not his dog. It was a strange dog that was out in the woods, and he was found just lurking out there in the woods with a, with a strange dog. The one time he went out there. Sorry, I thought there was a str- I thought. I thought it was two different times, but gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I thought that was I thought that was pretty. I'm like, and then and then it's this whole he likes to be, you know, he likes to show himself and uh, in his movies, <laughs> you know, that that's his, that's his thing. That's his that's his little trademark there. I think so. That's his trademark. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Appreciate uh, that. You know. Uh, hey, um, talking about the woods thing. So yeah. Matt Ross, I think, is the the name of the director. Okay. He uh, actually had so so Vigo had like I guess they said thirty two pages of questions after reading the script to the movie, um, and they were able to get like these accurate answers because uh, for a decent portion of Matt Ross's life, he lived an alternative lifestyle in the Pacific Northwest. I'm like that is wild, you know. Wow. So some of this is like kind of based off of you know. Him some yeah some 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 truth I'm like that's whew, that's wild that's pretty that's pretty crazy that's very cool though yeah yeah um seems well it adjusted <laughs> exactly yeah, <he's>, <laughs> so he so uh, Vigo did live um, abroad in Spain so when somebody says they live abroad what does that like mean does that mean that you're living like so say I my residence is here. Yeah. Uh, I'm a U.S. citizen, but I go and live in Italy, or I okay. go and live in, you know, I'm just gotcha. living abroad. Yeah, okay. uh, that's like if somebody were to study abroad, that's yeah. the same thing. They're just going Got to it. study in a different country. Okay, so I thought, but so that's why I thought when it said living, I was like threw me off. Like yeah, I'd be like, like there's, I would say like there's secondary residence. There. Got it. Primary residence being their main country. Yep. Got it. Okay. Now I understood. So I did. I did read that, but I didn't understand what it meant. So I'm just like, ah, nah. yeah. He's like an ar- hardcore Argen- like Argentina, Argentina, yeah. and Argentina. No. Um, and yeah. So he's like, I mean, he's like a sweet poet. I guess he's got like a bunch of poems out there that that that. that I mean, he's like he's a huge poet. His photograph, you know, he's a super smart guy. The uh, the one 
I was reading uh, somebody's like little quote. They said when when I they did a Zoom call because of COVID. You know, recently um, when they did a Zoom call for the his, his that movie the, that that falling the fall the falling the movie to the one with him. It actually just came out. Um, so when they was promoting it and stuff, it was all through like e- uh, email and then through oh, okay. phone calls. So when they did that, he goes, he goes, every single one, he goes, th- there was different books and different things in every single Zoom meeting that he actually had in front of his computer. So he even cleaning up the books. He's just he's rotating them and reading them and doing all this the entire time as he's doing everything. So you can, you can just tell that he's actually a, a vivid reader because he's actually you know really continuously doing that over and over and over and over again. You know, he's That's like his cool. books are flipping. You know, I'm like so you just I just think he's a super smart just a guy. I mean, he's just a he played a very cool person. The way he talked, the way you know what I mean. Like I just that's one thing that I ever respect some of these actors for because, of course, you could teach me something. But if you put a camera in front of me, and tell me to talk about it, I'm gonna be stumbling. I'm not gonna be convincing. And, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, you know, what I mean, that's just impressive. So you know what yeah. I mean? When he does this, you know, some of those things he's talking about, and some of those things that he like says, some of the facts and stuff, you're like, wow. I mean, that it's it's impressive. Like, you know, and then and I like I do one thing I do like about it how he's like, oh, you're gonna have to give me a presentation tomorrow about what you've read so far and what your thought process is. Yeah, I, w- I want to like, bring oh. that moment up though. Okay. All right. So go ahead. No, go ahead. What, what, um, what so what he mentions there, uh, I, I literally paused the movie because I'm like, Jessica, do you know what M theory is? Because that's what he's, he's like, have you have you gotten to M theory? Oh, that okay. And M theory is talked about in the first season of True Detective with Russ Cole. He talks about M theory, and it's the theory that uh, we're just beings that can perceive time only going forward. But there are other beings that can u- like use time physically, and to them, time would be a circle. Uh, it's like it's like this weird thing that you'd ha- if you search it up on YouTube, you'll see uh, Russ Cole going over M theory. But okay. uh, as soon as he said, "Oh, you could go over M theory," I'm like, "Ah, oh, hold on, yeah. detective <laughs> Matthew McConaughey." I'm like, Jessica. I think I, I learned one. something from a, yes. t- from a TV <laughs> show. <laughs> I'll a, give that presentation, a, sir. Yep, I know that <laughs> one. Have you ever seen yeah. True Detective? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, this awesome. is M Theory, and then I'll just yes. show that. that exactly, episode. yeah. Play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Russ Cole. He'll, he'll teach you M yeah. Theory, all right? Yeah, yeah. They'll take over from here. <laughs> That's but I, I was just so pumped because I'm like M Theory. I yeah. know that one. Nice. That's, I can't. That's in season one. Mm-hmm. I don't season remember them one. talking about that because I mean that's the one that I watched. I watched season one. So but so when he's in the investigation room and they're and they're uh, talking to him uh, okay. about what had happened back in the day and he's like crushing beer cans and he's like cutting little people out of them. Oh. And in one yes, of those yes. moments, he talks about the M Theory. Okay, I, I know, I do, I do think I remember just saying something, because I love that. That that's a show Dude, that, that made me show. go back and just think too much. I mean, insanely amount, but that's HBO. I mean, I mean that's exactly. what HBO for you. It's different. Yeah. It's, it's different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, you know, I, HBO. True Detective. I, the, I like just depressing storylines anyway. So True Detective season two, I just liked Ray Falco. Uh, oh, pretty much. Yeah. I, I didn't mind Vince Vaughn's character either. I, I, I actually rather liked him. Um, I liked a few other characters, but overall, it's a bad, bad season. It wasn't good. No, yeah, see, uh, I but I one. ultimately liked it because of the music and, you know, whatever. But season three was really good. It was a really good one. That's, that's funny. Did you watch season three? No, I did not. No. Your music comment just made me laugh. Because now every single thing that you recommend to me that you told me like the music track on it, I can't help it. Every single time the music comes on, oh, you, I think yeah, about the music, just, right? Oh, dude, leftovers? But, uh, <gasps> dude, but like what I've seen so far, bro, There's, I'm not that pumped about this music. I mean, there's a lot of... <laughs> dude, I, I'm a big fan of strings. So like if, if I, I hear a cello or violin yeah. coming up, I'm like, yeah. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Like whenever <laughs> Lost was on and Sun oh. and Jin had like a a, a, no. a um, flashback or something, I'd be like, "Oh yes, there's that, 
the strings. I, I love strings, man. Oh, gotcha. That's, that's, that, or the I, piano version that when the theme comes on, when the theme song comes on in that episode, I'm just like, oh, that is just so good. I just listen. To it. I just throw it on here because I'm like, I, th- I there's there's ones that have it on like 30 minute repeats or whatever. You just listen to that because they, they have a de- couple of different versions in that series, and I I, I feel like I'm I'm gold blooming here, so I'm gonna calm yes. down. Yeah, <laughs> music of leftovers is really good. So. Okay, made by a guy gotcha. named R- Max Richter. Uh, he did yeah. a lot of the music. Love the guy. Anyways, That's so actually, funny. I don't love the guy. I don't know the guy, but I love his work. Yes, his work is a bad good. guy, so I don't want to endorse him. You know? Yeah, don't don't do that. Please don't That's be a bad, a bad guy, Max Richter. Yes, <laughs> be a good guy. <laughs> yeah, keep making good music. In yeah. these days no. of, of, of most people just finding out they're not good, <laughs> be a good one. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I was just kidding. I knew I knew why you loved it yeah. and I knew all that. So I it's just it because like when those scenes come up, oh well, the don't music be wrong. It, it is it so in. perfectly like, paired. So yeah, don't it was phenomenal. So where I learned about music once again is getting when we actually made our movies, as soon as we actually added true audio to what we were doing. Now if we made a you know instead of a B movie we're making like a C movie <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not even D that movie. maybe even you a seriously? D movie <laughs> yes but we're making one all right like a don't so watch add, movie. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so when you add that to it though yeah. all of a sudden you're like well wait a minute right yeah all right so, so maybe we're an F it. movie and then we add that audio and in, in, into it then no, it that becomes D. that D movie <laughs> that D movie bro. Uh, th- yeah, that was always like the, when uh, I had we had a buddy that did it. Um, uh, my, my first year when I had a guy um, yeah. do the music, I'm like, "Holy crap, bro! Where you been my whole life? This is awesome!" Yes, there's a, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we had another friend who did the audio and the music, and it was like, "This just changes the game up." You know? Yeah, very. Cool. Yeah, so we actually had. So remember, remember the first time we had. Uh, somebody make we had the fr- the first movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had your buddy from H H Greg. Yep. Right. Yep. Uh, he he came and did the the music to it, which was, it was awesome. Okay. Yes, it, I mean for like it wasn't perfect by any means because there was no like audio to it. The music though was perfect for yeah. it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And then we had true true audio recording and everything oh, yeah. for that next one. And that Boom one, that's Mike why I'm like, and everything. Oh, you know? for sure. That's why they comparing the two. You know what I mean? He did a great job. No, mm-hmm. Thank you. You know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? Thank you for doing that. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that by any means. I appreciate everything you did, but I'm just saying like between. That one you're like, whoa! Oh yeah, yeah, well, cool. yeah. There's definitely a now. Was that the scariest one that we've ever had? Uh, yes, that the scariest moment of the entire thing was the audio. Maybe. Oh well, yeah, because it came down to like to the last hey, wire. Man. You know what I mean? Is exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have matched up everything, and we've already rendered. Like we're good. We just need to apply the audio for sure. And yeah, and then yeah. So you know, but no. still, but still, that's like again, a serious amount of of of. Uh, uh, Talent though, uh, it was like, I mean, seriously. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, if, you don't realize it. The, the only thing is, like, dude, if we if we had a, a camera person, a cinematographer, and that audio, dude, it would have been totally different. I am not one who should be behind the camera. I mean, well, we've all learned that. You need your hat and a ca- and, and then a chair. A chair, yeah. I'm like, yeah, that looks good. That's what's in my mind. Yeah. I can't get there because I'm like, oh. What's yeah. fancy about <laughs> this? And I'm like, now nah, let's just shoot the scene. You know, you yep, stand here, sure. you stand here. Let's do the most basic thing we can. I mean, sometimes we got cool with it. I love, I love the uh, the first one we did seesaw uh, oh, yeah. with that. We are coming up our friend's backyard, and that camera's on you all up close, and you're breathing yeah. all heavy. And I'm like, and then we did like this kind of like merging of the of the two angles, and it was awesome. I was like, that's. I wish I could do that all the time, but yes, that was sweet. Yeah, I, I just don't it. have the eye. That's all yes. right, though. Well, well, that's why I wasn't, cinematographers I mean, have the eye. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, though, you never. I mean, a lot of the cinematographers, though, they they do that because they learn to have the eye. They learn about the eye. You have just have never learned about the eye before, you know. I mean, if you talk to somebody that actually like so, I've, I've, I have. I've got class. I've got books on like master shots and all these shots, and still. When I come oh. down to well, yeah, I just it's just, just not my forte. Okay. Got it. Okay, so you tried to get yeah, the I tried. I okay. do personally. 
I don't like setting up f stops and uh, ooh, this angle would be nice with this lens and uh, let's shoot in this light. That's another thing. Lighting. That's a whole other thing. You know, cinematographers yeah. know about lighting. I can light a green screen. That's all I got. Lighting yeah. a scene is just like, oh, that's a tremendous amount of light over there. Hey, look at here. I mean, I got light on my forehead here. You know? yeah. Lighting. <laughs> Although lighting totally does change the game, you know. Oh, it does for sure. That's why they have the eye. That's why they have the eye. So, thank you, cinematographers, for doing what you do because you Definitely. truly make movies cinematic. Oh. oh. Firing on all cylinders here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So we have um, a movie coming up April yep. 20th, April 23rd, uh, Mortal Kombat. So I'm very excited dun, to watch dun, that dun. one. We'll, we'll, yes, we'll watch that one super for excited. the next podcast. Oh, uh, yes. I'm super pumped. I'm, I, I, don't I know. know why. I was like sad. <laughs> That it wasn't out this week. I wasn't saying because we got to watch Captain Fantastic, which was fantastic. (laughs) But, (laughs) but, yeah, but uh, um, I'm I'm pretty excited to watch this uh, Mortal Kombat. So, I actually went back and watched, like, there's a stupid YouTube thing that came up. Like, you know, just, I I was just, like, looking through stuff. And because everybody's interested in Mortal Kombat stuff now. So, they put a couple, like, fight scenes together, like, in in reform, you know? Yeah. Uh, So, so I watched a couple of them, like, you know what? I am pretty excited. Yeah. (laughs) I am a lot more excited than I was before. So, I was always, like, a long way, like, like, graphics-wise from the old ones. So, it's like. For sure. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm ready for yeah. it. It's like things yeah. look super realistic nowadays. So I'm like, I'm pretty excited for this. Yes. I was even excited for the old ones, you know. I mean, the oh, old yeah. ones are exciting. Yeah. I mean, so you get this one involved. I'm ready. Yeah. So. Yeah, I am I'm ready for that one. So we will uh we'll throw that one all up on the uh on the airspace and then the YouTubes. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. You got anything else for us? Nah, man, I think that's I think that's all I got for today. All right. Well, How about you? No. Well, head on out to uh, Netflix and catch that Captain Fantastic. Also, Alice in Borderland. And, man, if you don't have HBO by now, what are you waiting for? Get on Leftovers. Yes. Come on. Yes, that's a great one. Yeah. So there's three things that you need to be watching. You have to be watching. You got to be watching. And when you do, tell us about it. Tell us about it. We would like to know your thoughts. Absolutely. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Have one hell of a week. One hell of a week.